Sports from where you live. We're just a couple of days away from the biggest football night of the year, and if you're trying to eat better, a Super Bowl party may be a little difficult, but joining me now to discuss some healthy recipes and strategies for Sunday is Anna Busenberg from Franciscan St. Elizabeth Health. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So the game is all about snacks, fun, family, friends. Let's talk about how you can do it in a healthier way. Exactly. So let's start down here and work our way over. So what do we have? Yes, so I brought some different healthier snack foods. So it's pretty common. All of us like to sit around and eat while we watch right. football. So all these recipes are on um, saint.e.org backslash recipes. So this one is a blue cheese dip. And so a lot of us like those chicken fingers that have been fried. Mm -hmm. So this recipe actually has you batter and cook up your own chicken fingers. It's a little healthier, less fat, they're not deep fried. Um, and then the blue cheese dip is basically just um, sour cream and blue cheese mixed together with some cayenne pepper. And I paired it with some vegetables. So it's pretty important. Work those vegetables in with, you your, with your meat. Exactly. All right, as we work our way down, spinach dip is a big favorite with mm -hmm. a lot of people so how is this done a little bit differently well we obviously have the spinach but then I paired it with low-fat cottage cheese mm -hmm. low-fat yogurt and some low-fat cream cheese so that's where I kind of cut out a few of the calories and then just simply put it in a food processor and mixed it all together this literally took about 10 minutes to whip up so super fast and it not only can be healthy for the Super Bowl it can also be easy and that helps a lot of people exactly. out who have, maybe have to cook a lot of different things so this yep cool. this is a very nice appetizer dish all right now we got some more finger food down on this end yes these are salsa roll-ups so what this is I used a multi-grain tortilla and then just combined a low-fat cheese and a low-fat cream cheese with some salsa, rolled it up, and cut them up. So again, 10 minutes max. That's great. And it all, it all looks and smells delicious. So let's go with this last thing here on the end. Everybody loves a good dip for the chips. Exactly. And this one is beautiful. I love it. So we have um, a bean dip mixture on the bottom. I put in some jalapenos, black beans, and then topped it with cheese and low-fat sour cream. And then I just started laying on vegetables, um, lettuce, tomato, avocado, as well as some black olives to make it very colorful and delicious. Now, people often think it's the Super Bowl. Maybe I, I have to pick out or there's no healthy options for me. What would you say to those people who just see no way out of just the unhealthy Super Bowl favorites? Well, I think that if you have that chance to bring something healthy to a party you're attending or if you are the cook, find a way to work in some vegetables, either on top of your seven-layer dip or over with your blue cheese dip, finding just a way to set yourself up for success. So bring some vegetables with you, bring some fruit, and find some ways to balance that meal on Sunday. And it's, you, it, the biggest thing probably, too, is also stay away from the fried stuff. It's so easy because it's so quick. Quick it to be is. able, it's an easy default for a lot of people. So how? And what it are? It's delicious. It does taste delicious. So we're looking for some tastier options that aren't fried. Exactly, and that's what I like about the recipe with the chicken is it's it's baked um, in terms of it's not deep fried. So you still have the batter and you still use um, some spices to make it have flavor, but without a lot of added fat. All right, Anna Busenberg from Franciscan St. Elizabeth. Thank you as always. Thanks. All right, straight ahead.